Hey, welcome back. Uh, let's continue now with organic chemistry two videos. The first one is to learn how to name the aromatic compound. Okay, uh, here are some common compounds that have the EUPAC nomenclature and uh, outside of EUPAC nomenclature that are traditionally named on aromatic compounds. The first one is benzene, okay, a six-membered ring that contains three double bonds. Uh, benzenaldehyde, benzaldehyde, phenol, uh, not the UPAC name, uh, because the UPAC name should be hydroxybenzene, but it have this, this because it's commonly used, it's commonly accepted and is widely, very widely used. You have to remember this as a phenol, okay? Benzoic acid carboxylic group here. Here, amine group is called aniline, okay? Remember those ones. Orthoxylene, I will come in a moment, what means ortho? Uh, two metal groups means uh, in ortho position, but I will talk about that. Acetophenone, carbonyl group here. Styrene, double bond here. Nitrobenzene here, a nitro group. Now, position one with position two are called ortho. Okay? Or O, shorter way. Position 1 with position 3 are called meta. Or M. And position 1 with position 4 are called para. Or P. Okay? You will remember at the, by the end of this video. Another compound, if you remove a hydrogen to benzene, it's called a phenyl group. And if you leave a CH2, it's called a benzyl group. Okay? Now, in terms of position, related to the X here, this is ortho position, both sides is the same, meta, meta, and par position, okay? Keep in mind those positions. They serve in naming only if you have two substituent, okay? We will see that. Okay, let's convert now names to the structure. The first one, P, means para, ben, para bromochlorobenzene. So, the Parent name is benzene. Okay, and uh, if you place the chlorine here, para position will be bromo. Okay, this is the first compound A. Compound B, benzene again is the parent name, and uh, you have to throw it. Now at position one is chloro. Two, three, four, five, six. At position three, you have a methyl, and at position five, you have another metal because you have two metals. The metal, okay? And let's move now to compound C, metabromophenol. So you have to remember that phenol is a compound that contains a hydroxy group, and metal position is at position one, two, three carbons away. Okay? Let's move to the last example. Uh, as you can see here, the benzene is it's now transformed to phenyl because you have heptane. As a general rule, if the number of carbons that are substituted to the benzene are higher than six, you have to move now the benzene as a substituent, as a substituent. So it is called now a phenyl group. So in this case you have heptane that has seven carbons, okay? I mean seven. <laughs> okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So at the position one, two, three, at position two you have the phenyl group, okay? And at the position three you have the metal. Okay, and fill them with hydrogens to satisfy the four valence of the carbon. Okay, uh, let's move now to the case that you have the structure and have to give their names. Now, as a general rule, you have to keep the low, as low as possible the number of substituent and name them in alphabetical order, okay? Let's take a look at the first example, at the point A. So let's first count one, two, three, four, five. So you have a substitution at the position one, 
3 and 5, okay? Or if you count in another way, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, okay? You have also in this way 1, 3 and 5. What you are going to get? If you are in this situation that you have two ways to count with the same number, you have to consider the alphabetical order. So who has the letter the first according to alphabet is going to get the lowest possible number. If it is the case that the, you can find the lowest possible number but the alphabetical order does not correspond, you have to respect the uh, numbers, the lowest possible number, not the alphabetical order. But when you write the stra when you write the name, you have to write them according to alphabetical order. I hope that this is clear. Okay, so it's going to be one bromo. Now you have a three, five, d, methyl, benzene. Okay, let's move to compound B. As you can see here. What is called this without chlorine? Aniline. Uh, the common name used aniline because this is a minor group. So it has two substituents. If it has two substituents, you are going to get to use the nomenclature with para, ortho, and meta. So in this case, it's para. So P, chloro, aniline. Okay? Para, chloro, aniline. Let's move now to point C. As you can see here, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven carbons. So the benzene here ring is going to serve as a substituent, and the name was phenyl. So it's going to be one, two, the phenyl. So it's going to be two phenyl heptane. Okay, be careful. If it has more than six carbons, of the benzene goes after as a substituent, not as a parent name, okay? Be careful on that. Okay, let's move to point D. Now you have uh, uh, something that I didn't mention above. It's another common name of this compound itself. It is called toluene. Okay? Keep in mind that. So in this case, bromo is substituted at what position? Meta position. So it's going to be meta. Bromo, toluene. Okay, now let's move to this compound here. Here you have the, num the numbering one, two, three, four. Okay, or you can count one, two, three, four. But because ethyl, that is a substituent here, is prior to the alphabetical order, because both ways is the same number, the lowest number is going to be to the ethyl group. So it's going to be one ethyl, it's going to be two, four, dinitro benzene. Okay? This is going to be the naming for this compound. Right? Uh, again, as a summary. Okay. Keep in mind these things. First thing, you have to give the lowest possible number to the substituent at the benzene, okay? The second thing is there are two substituents, you have to use the ortho, meta, and para position. The third thing is that, okay, you have to give a name in, in the alphabetical order. If you have a way to find the lowest possible number, okay, you have to write the structure in alphabetical order, but you have to use the numbers to the lowest possible number. If the numbers are in the same way in both or in both ways of counting, you have to use to give the lowest possible number the compound that has the priority to alphabetical order. Okay? Okay, with this we sum up this video and uh, look forward to see you to the reaction of aromantic compounds. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.